Sir Chow Chin Chow's Lantern Joe here. Welcome to a very special unboxing video. Now, this is thanks to Japan Stuffs on Twitter. Their link is down in the description below. Thank you to Japan Stuffs. They, um, well, I ordered something off their website. They don't know I'm actually doing this video for uh, them so, as a promotional thing for them, but like, I really wanted to do this because the fact is, this is the brand new Gen 2. Uh, plushes that they have on the Japanese Pokemon website so I bought these through Japan stuff so they shipped them to me and now I'm unboxing them for you guys so of course if there are an exclusive Japanese Pokemon Center merch that you want to buy uh, and you don't live in America where you can't buy uh, you can't buy Pokemon Center merch like me Japan stuff is a very much a place you can possibly go and uh, order your stuff it does cost a little more because well you're not buying it it's uh, they're buying it for you and then shipping it to you by airmail so it's going to cost you a little bit more than it would normally but it's it's the probably the only way until we get a japanese poke until we get an, a european website fingers crossed that's what the temp store leads to when we go when the temp store comes next month basically we get a temp store uh, in uh, london and then eventually, after that temp store goes away, after Worlds possibly, we finally get that European website that we've all been wanting here in Europe. Because you've got an American one, you've got a Japanese one, let's get a, let's get a European one. Hell, let's get a world website. So wherever I go in the world, wherever anyone is, we can order Pokemon merch and it's fine. It'd be really cool if that's the case, you know, because other sites have a world website. Just be easier for that to happen anyway this is the gen 2 plushes collections there's the gen 1 uh, there's the Kanto ones these are the Johto ones and of course there is the Hoenn ones coming I think they're already out in Japan but they're not uh, they're coming to America quite soon and also there'll be like loads of other stuff too but this is um, my mascots this is Lantern and Chin Chow obviously so can't wait to see these in an actual real life comparison i've seen them on the website but i actually really want to see them in the place so we'll throw that box away uh, good thing i blanked out uh, using uh, parcel tape blanked out my address and the person who sent me these uh, otherwise we would have been in trouble so making sure i did that before putting them on camera for you guys but we do have an iconic Pokemon Center bag. Beautiful bag here with a Pokemon store on it. And then here, here is a little Chin Chow. Oh, that's amazing. Honestly, that is absolutely amazing. Honestly, that is cool. It, it, it'll go on, it'll sit on any flat surface, so. We can have a full 360 view of our little chin chow. There's, uh, we can see his antennae. Um, we can see around the face and the back. And there's the bottom. And there's our little Pokemon Center tag. Uh, complete with uh, barcode and everything. So there's our little Pokemon Center tag that I'll keep with with this. So there's, there's the little chin chow. I'll keep them on there for the moment in time whilst I show you guys Little Lantern as well. Look at him. He's amazing. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of McDonald's toys, but like uh, much more better quality than McDonald's toys. So you get you get in Happy Meals. This is definitely much more better quality than that. But yeah, I really wish they were like huge big time plushes, but I really like these. I absolutely really like these. So there is Chin Chow and Lantern. You know what? I'll, I'll do this. There we go. And let's take a look at 360 tour of Lantern. So there's the top, there's his antennae. There's the side, there's the back with its fin, there's another side, and of course, here's the tag. 
uh, that you get from it. So there's a tag there. And of course, there's its nice little bottom. So there you go. That is Chin Chow and Lantern. And I'll show you as a comparison to my sister-in-law's lantern. So this is this is the one my sister-in-law bought uh, uh, made for me a few Christmases back. And I'll compare it to my uh, uh, my new lantern plus. So there you go. That's what they look like up top, and this is what they look like at the back as well, and the sides. So you can. You can tell me which one you think is better. The McDon uh, the Pokemon official one uh, that sort of reminds me of McDonald's toys. And, of course, also my sister-in-law's one. So thank you very much to my sister-in-law for making that for me a few Christmases back. Just makes for a really good comparison. They don't have a lot of Lantern merch. It's really hard to find Lantern merch uh, in the internet, and I really don't know why. I know it's not really the iconic mascotty, uh, mascotable Pokemon, but look how cute this thing is. Why wouldn't you want to make merch to? Why wouldn't you want to make merch for this? Why wouldn't you want to do that? More, more Lantern merch needs to be available. I know I got this Shucky shirt on, but that's that's from the original 151. That's Vinny. This is a Vinny shirt, and you know, other than that, there's barely any Lantern stuff out there. A few people have made some stuff on Gets, uh, you know, on Getsy, but like there really isn't that much Lantern merch out there, and I really would prefer if there was more. I want to build a pair Lantern. That'd be so cool. Please make it happen. I know Snorlax is the new one, but please make that happen. That'd be amazing. Build a pair Lantern. That'd be awesome. Hell, tell you one thing you could do, uh, uh, Pokemon, if you're ever listening to me, build a bear for the final evolutions of the Garlean starters. I know you don't want to reveal them just yet, I understand that, but when Sword and Shield is out, you know, maybe like next year, this time next year, what you could do is release all three of them as Builder Bears. That would be really cool. The final evolution of Scorbunny, Grookey, and Sobble as Builder Bears. It'd be amazing. I'd do an unboxing for that. And if you want to see more unboxings, I would definitely do them for you guys. Builder Bear unboxings or Pokemon Plush unboxings. It's They're quite expensive. So not all the time a thing that I can do. But like from time to time, I will definitely uh, do this. I used to do a series where I used to unbox plushes because of the year of the mythical. Uh, but I don't do that anymore. But maybe I might come back with it one day. I just wanted to show these off on camera. So thank you to Japan Stuffs. Their link is down in the description below. So it's absolutely amazing that the dog barking. It's very, very annoying. Shut up, dog. Anyway, until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Me to love Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell, and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe, and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos, and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe, and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.